All right, last couple of examples here. Now, these particular limits might just look a little bit more daunting because none of the previous strategy, strategies we've really talked about really apply to this, right? Um, we can't really factor out anything. Multiplying by conjugate won't do us much good. So it seems a little bit daunting. However, there's one little identity that will help us a lot here for these questions, and that is the following. The limit as x approaches zero of sine of x over, or excuse me, it should be sine of ax over ax, where a is a, any arbitrary constant, is going to equal 1. Excuse me. Okay. We have this equation here. Now, this identity we can use to help make these problems solvable. Like there's still 0 over 0 limits, so we know we can actually get an answer from them, but we'll need to use this identity to sort of coax it out of them. Okay, So let's go ahead and see what we can do here. So for this first guy here, right, we have the limit as x approaches 0 of sine of 4x over sine of 9x. This doesn't quite match what we've got there. right? However, we might be able to make it match. right? So for example, if we we consider that here, like the we rewrite it here really quick. Four x over sine of nine x. Consider the four sine of four x up here. It would be really nice if we happen to have a four x here in the denominator, right? It would be really nice if we had a four x in the denominator because then we could apply our identity. So why don't we try and force that in, right? So let's go ahead and just multiply by four x, one over four x. However. We can't just arbitrarily multiply by 1 over 4x because that would change the value of this equation. And we want to preserve the value of this equation, so we also have to multiply by 4x. Right? So like we did in the conjugate situation, we're not really changing the value of anything here because this is this is equivalent to 1. right? So we're not really changing the value. We're just making things look a little bit different so we can uh, make this work. We can get the answer that we need. Awesome, so we're multiplying by 4x, dividing by 4x. So now let's rearrange the terms just a little bit so that we can keep track of what we're, what's really uh, important to us. Right? So we get now the limit as x goes to 0 of, we have a sine of 4x over 4x. I'm grouping this sine of x along with this 4x here, we're grouping those together. And what's left over is we have, um, we can put these guys in parentheses too. What's left over is we have a 4x over sine of 9x. Yeah. Now, one other thing about this identity you should know is that because this is equal to 1, the reciprocal of this identity also works. In other words, ax over sine of ax, or rather the limit as x goes to 0, this quantity, is also equal to 1. Right? The reciprocal also works because just because this happens to be equal to 1. Right? So given that, I could look up here and say, it would be really nice if I had a 9 up here in this numerator, because then I could apply this identity here. And just like we did up here, let's make it. Let's make it happen, right? So let's multiply here by nine, and divide by four, so we can get rid of that four there. So we get rid of the four and multiply by nine. However, I can't just multiply by nine fourths arbitrarily. I need to also multiply by four ninths to preserve equivalence, right? And once again, notice that this quantity is equivalent to one, right? Nine fourths times four ninths. These are reciprocals, so that's going to come out to one. So once again. I'm not changing the value of anything, just making things look different. Okay, And now once again, let's do the step of just grouping together what terms are, are important. So we'll have the limit as x goes to 0. We still have this, we still have this guy here from the previous step. We have sine of 4x over 4x. right? And then we have 
uh, before we actually do that. Um, so this four and this four cancel. So this nine now comes in here, right? So what we'll have then is we'll have nine X over sine of nine X. Okay. All of that times this four nines here that we had left over. Great. And now we have all our signs and our we have the sine of ax over ax, ax over sine of x, exactly what we wanted. Let's take our limits now, right? So um let's do that red. So this piece is going to go to one. This limit's going to be one. Limit of this piece is going to be equal to one. So our final answer is just simply going to be four ninths. Awesome. Cool. That's pretty awesome. Right? Now let's try this guy here. Now we're off the bat, once again, this looks a little bit more confusing, right? Because there's no signs and there's no signs in here. Right? Because our identity, remember, only works with sine of x. There's no sine of x in here. However, if we remember back to our trig definitions, right, you'll remember that cosecant cosecant of x is equal to 1 over sine of x, right? You'll also remember that cotangent of x is equal to, uh, running out of the room here, but it's equal to sine of x over cosine of x, right? And there's my signs. And those are the signs of a sine of x's I can use to solve this question, right? Let's go ahead and plug these in and see what we can do now. Do okay. So we'll have um, a limit as x approaches zero. Instead of cosecant of seven x, we'll have one over sine of seven x. Right. And we're going to divide this by cotangent of 3x, which is going to be cosine of 3x divided by sine of 3x. Okay. Now, I really hate double fractions, so what I'm going to do is instead of dividing by cosine of 3x over sine of 3x, I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal. Right. So let's just do that real quick. So we're going to have the limit as x goes to 0 of 1 over 7x, sine of 7x, excuse me, 1 over sine of 7x times sine of 3x over cosine of 3x. Okay? Wonderful. And now I can apply my same logic from here to this question to once again try and get those identities there. Okay? So once again, uh, let's sign a little bit more clear. In this first term here, I would really love to have a 7x up there, right? I would absolutely love to have a 7x up here because that would allow me to apply my identity. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's multiply by 7x, but also we need to divide by 7x to preserve equivalence, right? So if we, if we rewrite all this, what we're going to get is the limit as x goes to 0 of we'll have 7x over sine of 7x. Okay. And what's left over now is just going to be, uh, we'll have, we have, um, we'll have the sine of 3x over, we have 7x times cosine of 3x. Cosine is actually not too bad here. It does not really affect anything here, as you'll see in the end. So we can just tack it on there. Once again, we have a sine of 3x. So unfortunately, we have a 7x there, but it would be really nice if that 7 turned into a 3, right? So once again, let's make that happen. Right? So we'll, we'll multiply by 7 thirds right, to make that 7 become a 3. But then to preserve equivalence, we'll multiply by 3 sevenths. Okay? Let's group things together. And we're almost done. So we'll have the limit as x approaches 0 of, so again, we have the green term there. So 
be 7x over sine 7x. And now we have, once again, um, this 7 and that 7 will cancel. This 3 is going to come in here, which is, because, which, which is exactly what we, we want to happen. So we'll have sine of 3x over 3x. And then we just tag on everything that's left over. So we'll have 3 over 7 cosine of x or cosine of 3x. Really running out of space there, but we're just about done. So yeah, this we can just take our limits now because we have everything in place. This thing's going to go to 1. This thing's going to go to 1. Cosine of x also goes to 1 because the limit as x approaches 0 of cosine of x is just 1. So our final answer, which we'll have to put up here, is simply going to be 3 over 7. Wonderful. And that right there is, that's the end of this video. Congratulations on making it this far. And I hope that was helpful. I hope you saw a lot of the kinds of limit questions that you might see. And uh, yeah, I hope this is useful. Please do let me know if you find these helpful. Uh, leave me a comment. I read every single comment I get. So it would be really helpful for me to, to get an idea of what you guys would like to see more of and uh, what I could change about these videos maybe if you to make them more helpful for you guys. But yeah, um, hope, this help, hope this was helpful. If you found this video helpful, please do like, share, subscribe, leave a comment and check out some other videos. See you next time!